Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In this video, I've got a brand new Zeri build to show you all from the Wild Rift League Asia. And from, most importantly, the MVP as well from Wild Rift League Asia, KBG's Anran, the best player in China, the best player at the moment in the Wild Rift League Asia. And he goes for this build on Zeri. I'm going to show you a few screenshots of his runes and also his builds from one of the games against Nova Esports in the lower bracket final, which they were able to win and make it to the finals. I'll show you the screenshots on screen now. You can see his build, his runes. He goes for lethal tempo. You can go for giant slayer if you want to. Giant slayer is a bit of a situational rune. If you get a lot of bruisers and tanks, then giant slayer is good. If you don't, then you can just go for hunter vampirism instead. Bone plating really helps you with trading and then also sweet tooth. And in the build as well you can see man immune trinity force essence reaver building into lord dominic's regards and then your last item can be pretty flexible as well to be fair so can your second last item can also be pretty flexible this build is very interesting it's a very different build to the crit um zeri builds that we're kind of used to building every single game with zeri now the reason why this build is so popular right now in china why the build can sometimes work is because zeri's kind of works a little bit like ezreal where her first ability is very different to how it works on PC League. On PC League, Zeri's auto attacks is her first ability, but in Wild Rift, her auto attacks are just her auto attacks, which means her first ability becomes a spammable poke ability, kind of like Ezreal's Q. It means you can stack mana mute faster, means you can get the Sheen passive more often, get more damage with Essence Reaver, and that's why this sort of build is starting to rise in priority and starting to rise in terms of how strong it is over in China, because people are starting to realize that they can play Ezreal a little bit like, uh, they can play Zeri, sorry, a little bit like Ezreal, and it honestly, it's really really fun to play so let's take a in-depth look at the build and see what the items look like man immune as the first item as i mentioned very similar to ezreal where you can spam your abilities quite a lot especially your first ability you're going to be using a lot of poke in the laning phase because it's about the same range as your auto attack range which means you can just walk up use your first ability it doesn't have to go through minions or anything it's just like a kind of a drop from the sky in a way you just use it wherever you want to deals a lot of damage can help you push the lane and also can help you poke and trade during the laning phase so you can stack this up and when you get the man immune fully stacked to mirror mana your auto attacks will do more damage and also your abilities will do more damage trinity force just overall a really really strong item a lot of great base stats the spell play passive means that we can deal bonus damage again when we're dealing with physical damage because we got the first ability we got second ability as well basically after using any ability cause your next basic attack to deal um bonus physical damage equal to 200 of your base ad so really really nice item to go for zeri rage passive as well means we gain a little bit of extra movement speed if we do need it which movement speed can work quite well for zeri already get quite a lot of movement speed and quite a lot of shielding from the passive but from Trinity Force also helps out a lot. For the boots, you can go for pretty much any boots that you want to. Uh, defensive boots are quite good. Mercury Treads play to still camps. Garden Screeze is also very, very good if you want a little bit of extra healing. Or you can even go for Lucinti boots if you feel like you need more ability haste. All of them boots are great, with Stasis being your boots upgrade. Essence Reaver, because we're going more for an ability focused i guess you could say zeri build where we're focusing more on the abilities and the auto attack essence reaver will give us that 20 percent damage when we're building this item without any other crit which means our ability is going to do more damage our auto attacks are still going to do more damage as well because we get ad and also crit rate and with the other two items afterwards it means with Essence Reaver, we're going to get more damage with our abilities, and also we're going to get more crit chance, which means our auto attacks have a chance to deal a little bit more damage. Lord Dominic's regards, this can be swapped out for Mortal Reminder if you feel like you need the uh, anti-heal, you need the Executioner's Calling or anything like that. Anti-heal is very, very important in Wild Rift if you get any healing, so you can go for that option if you want to. Lord Dominic's regards is normally the better option because it gives us a crit to give Essence Reaver more damage, and just overall just has better stats in general. And it's a Lari Charge Blade. As I mentioned, we're going to be using abilities a lot. We're going to be poking a lot. We're going to be using our second ability a lot, our third ability to dash, and our first ability also to poke, which means that we're going to gain charges of Solari Charge Blade very, very quickly. And a Solari Charge Blade charges... That's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, you get the, the extra stacks uh, for Radiance. And then when you auto attack, you can deal bonus magic damage, which can also crit. So the more crit chance we have, 
and maybe when this does critical strike the more damage it will be dealing again the last two items are pretty flexible you can build into like you know mortal reminder if you want to can also be a good item you can also go for kind of any other crit item as your final item something like bloodthirster if you need a little bit of more physical vamp can also be a great option for the runes lethal tempo no surprise really for zeri even with this kind of poke zeri build lethal tempo is still great and actually works a lot better with this build because lethal tempo you're going to get a lot more value because you're not building a lot of attack speed in the build so you're going to be getting a lot more value from lethal tempo stacking up trying to reach to zeri's attack speed cap as quick as possible and even any, any attack speed over that cap you're going to be converted into attack damage so you can deal more damage anyway so overall really really nice hunter vampirism as i said could be swapped out for giant slayer if you do want that little bit of extra damage against tanks and bruises but hunter vampirism still gives you the healing still gives you the ad which is very powerful bone placing when taking damage from enemy champions the current next champ three champions abilities and attacks deal less damage so it helps you a lot against a lot of combo damage but also helps you a little bit during the laning phase if you're going to get auto attack and poke quite a lot because zeri isn't the strongest during the laning phase especially mid and also in the bot lane unless you're against a melee matchup so bone play can can help you a lot with that and sweet tooth just go back get the honey fruit healing get the extra healing get the little bit of extra gold so we can reach our items as soon as possible with our summoner spells being flash and exhaust exhaust is our go-to with zeri because our attack range is not the best it's not the highest amount of attack range and also we want to dash sometimes within close range to use our ultimate so we can get the you know bonus attack damage and the bonus damage and the spread damage from our auto attacks if we do land our ultimate but let me know what you think in the comments of this build like i said i've given this a try it's absolutely great build that they've been building right now over in china so let me know what your thoughts are take care and i'll see you all in the next water video peace all right come on we got this one we believe are you looking forward to the upcoming changes? For sure, for sure. Upcoming changes are going to be really, really fun. Who am I against mids? Catalina. Catalina. I'm looking back, looking back. I'm against good old Katarina. I could have to bully Katarina early game then. Anyone have a plan? No? No problem. You've got nothing. Ah, fresh air. A rare three. on we can win Man, I could have backed more snacks. If they get one tower play in here, then I can go back. Nice, nice. I thought the wall was going to expire.
That was interesting. I didn't think the volley bear would have come to uh, come to mid lane. That's the top lane volley bear, by the way. It's not even the jungler. I belong here. What's he doing there? What's top lane volley bear doing there? It's fine. 400 gold ahead to the Katarina. Pretty good start. Was able to bully her out a little bit in the early game. Problem is, she can probably kill me now. I do have to be very careful. She can keep stacking up my tier as much as possible. What is Volley Bear always doing here? Like, what is this guy doing, man? Like, why the fuck is Volley Bear mid 24 7? Oh, it's so cringe, man. It's so fucking cringe. Like, what the fuck is this guy doing here? Hey, what's up, Rivenatics? Hello, hello. Is this AD or AP Zeri? AD Zeri. It's a Chinese build. Oh, man. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. No one steals my thunder. Never seen so little traffic. Do I miss it? Anyone have a bag? No? No problem. Can't really help him there. We got double charge, it's fine. Can't really help him there. Okay, not bad, not bad. No Thank you, Un Unfo. Appreciate the follow. Random Stalker as well. Thank you for the follow. Whoops, I messed up my dash there. Missed my cannon minion because I messed up my dash. Looking at Twitch chat. What's up, Knight? How's it going? Welcome to stream. Hmm. 
I feel like my team's playing a little over aggressive for no reason. I kind of want to go back to base, but at the same time, I don't want them to push out mid. Camille's top lane and probably Katarina's top lane as well. Me. Oh, God. Oh, oh, yeah. I knew Katarina was going to be up there. Take that, we'll take that. Ah, Man, I mean, for the upgraded. Oh, ADC is AFK. And ADC has five kills. That's not good. Surely I don't have two AFKs in a row, right? Surely not. Okay, reconnected. Thank God. I was going to say two FKs in a row. That would have been really unlucky. I mean, we shouldn't have gone for that because Jinx was still AFK in base. We shouldn't have started that. We shouldn't have started it. We should have waited. Good kill on to Volley Bear. Good job, good job. That's that well GG. How's it going? Who's streaming 2v2? I'm not streaming it. I don't know who else would be streaming it. No? No problem. I don't know who else would be streaming it, but I'm not. Is it tonight? It's tonight, right? Today's Tuesday? Yeah. I got too much work to do. Like streaming. I'm only going to stream for like a few hours today because I need to get my website updated. I have so many things to sort out before next week. It's ridiculous, actually. I think it's actually the most work I've ever done for Wild Rift. In terms of like updates for the game. Tuesday.
nice sir good job good job team more plane more planes go for armor boots this game okay okay lord domish regard solari charge blade and we're full builds Cold Katarina, nice. Okay, we take those, we take those. Just take one in here and back. Or maybe they can end 30 seconds. I don't know, it has the shield. No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. Back, back. Ah, Drake was up. I mean, it's fine, actually, if we don't get this Drake. It's not the worst thing in the world. If I had stasis there, I probably would have survived. Game's been pretty close, actually. Really, really close. I can all have to defend top lane. We're good, we're good. Anran build, yeah, yeah. It's the Anran builds. It's the Anran builds, you know it. Bam, bam, bam. Low key, this build's actually not that bad. Low key. So I feel like Zeri at times is kind of like Ezreal. Because Zeri just has her first ability that she can spam. And actually does quite a bit of damage. Low key, not that bad of a build. Is this for mid lane? Yeah, it's a mid lane build. It's a mid lane build. Oh, hello, that's interesting. The fuck, he just got double reset. He just got a double reset. Man. I don't think he can end. Oh, that's not good. I think they can end. Oh, actually, no. I don't think they can end. I don't think they have enough damage. Five seconds and I'm back up. Yeah, they're not going to. I just get one in here. Nice, we end, we end, we end, we end, we end, we end. Oh, it just ends, no? Oh, I'm pretty sure we end here. It's fine, we'll play it safe. We'll take it, Elder and Baron. Nice, should be GG's. Let's go. Decent game. Decent game. GG's.
GG's, GG's. Hey, what's up, Chantel? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I mean, this build is more to do with Zeri's abilities than anything else. Like, you don't do as much auto attack damage. I was kind of worried it's going to be a 4 versus 5 this game, but... What do we do? 31,000 damage? Most damage? More well, nearly in the game, except for the Katarina. Pretty decent game. I kind of like this build. It's not that bad. I mean, I still prefer the other build because you, you... I don't know. I just feel like I do so much more damage with the other build. This build, I don't feel like I did a lot of damage at all. <laughs> I don't know, but it's an interesting concept anyway. It's kind of like an Ezreal build mixed with a little bit of crit at the end. Obviously, Z Zeri does, still does a lot of auto attack damage, unlike Ezreal. Kind of like an Ezreal build in a way. Pretty cool, though.